It's Sunday, October the 28th, 2018, and I am doing three cooking shows today for the cooking channel, right? This is for Facebook and for YouTube. So the first one up on the chopping block is yeast bun or creole bun. And I have to do this one first because this one takes longer, right? You have to let it rise once for one hour and then re-knead and then let it rise again and then go on ahead and bake. So then the next one that I did was the bread pudding. And that one's more simple because all you have to do is mix up the custard, dice up the bread, throw it into the custard, pour it into the container, and then bake and serve. So that's an easier video to do. And then the next one that I did was a banana bread, a banana loaf. So I did three different breads today. Who is going to help me eat all this mess, guys? So I'm going to run some over to Colin's grandma and see who else I can feed. Ashwa. Got his food right and heated up in the microwave, thinking he could make it to the room. <laughs> yeah, I, I threw it too hard. Right he threw shoot. it right in the middle of my photo shoot of these <laughs> lovely buns, <laughs> lovely, lovely buns. <laughs> Joshua goes, "Sorry, ma." I'm like, "I don't want you to die." <laughs> and here's my book, guys. Don't forget to pick up your copy. Mmm. -hmm. When Joe and I first started this, so we were making this apron right here. It's a reversible apron, or like some people say, two-faced. And we didn't know anything about sewing, but we had the pattern from an apron that I had. And so we asked Joe's sister to teach us how to do it. And she reminded Joe that Joe knew how to sew because he used to help his mom sew straight lines on certain things in the leaves. So we whipped out this little sewing machine that Jada had, and we started to make those aprons, and we got very, very good at it. In the future, I will show you how to make that. The next thing we moved on to was this pleated handbag that's also reversible. And I say pleated because it has some little pleats. And I'm really going to have to go back and try to remember how we did this because we haven't made it in a while. But once I go back and figure it out, I'll show it to you guys, all right? So now the next one that we did was this bag that I call a beach bag. Now, it's not reversible, but it is fully lined. And we put pockets and stuff inside. And this one I'll show you guys really, really soon. And then, it's trying to fall, hold in. We did this zippered top tote with the elasticated pocket and the front pocket. And you guys already saw that video here at the site, all right? So whenever I learn something really, really well, I'll show it to you guys. So now we started to sew clothes. Oh, let me show you something. Because we can sew the handbags, we can make a handbag to match anything that I'm wearing. So this little skirt was one of the first clothing that I tried to sew. And of course, keep in mind that I don't sew on the sewing machine. I just watch the YouTube videos cut it out and then tell Joe what to do. So this is a straight fitting skirt with a zip and a band. So if you come in kind of close, our stitches might not look all that, but you know what, it's good enough for me. So because we can do the bags, I can make the bag to suit the dress or the skirt, all right? So that's a lot of fun right there. So now let's get this stuff out of the way. So the dress that I'm wearing was also made by me and Joe. It's more of a straight fitting dress. The fabric has no kind of stretch to it, so we had to make it loose, put it with a belt. But look, see up here? I messed up the neck because I'm not really good at the neckline when I'm doing the bodices, but I'm gonna get better as we go along. So this is another dress that we did. And I wanted, I like dresses, and um, I like them when they have this kind of flare, which is called a half circle skirt. I just didn't even know how to put the bodice in here. I had to try, so I put some pleats. I think that was on accident. Again, I messed up the neck, and I know what I'm doing wrong with the neck. When I'm trying to lower the neckline, I start all the way here from the shoulder, and I cut, and then I cut off a lot of the shoulder. So I think I just have to go down into a U. Now, we had to put a zip in after the fact because I didn't factor in that because the dress, the, the fabric has no stretch. I wouldn't be able to get in and out of the dress. Now, if you know how to sew, you can come and give me advice, and I am anxious to learn from you. But please don't come and go, oh my God, you did that all wrong. Let me, I will shut you down right away. But if you come and go, oh, Barbara, let me give you um, some advice about the neck. Use like a plate, an oval plate or something. That is, I will learn from that, okay? So I have two shirts that I use for my bodice pattern. This one is non-stretch and this one is stretch. So when I'm setting this one to use for anything at all, if I have a stretch material like this, I would just go like an inch outside of the perimeter for a seam allowance. But if I'm using... Anything that's non-stretch, I'll use this one. And if I happen to use this one for a non-stretch, I just put more. 
put more inches, all right? So these are just basic three-quarter sleeves or long sleeves uh, shirts that I just folded in here to get the pattern and then folded it in half and I cut around this for my bodice and if I want this shape right here and um, for the sleeve I took one of these um, shirts right here this one let me show you this one let me open this one because this one's already not pinned and I just kind of laid the sleeve down put a piece of see-through paper and cut this pattern out for the sleeve so now I sorry guys I have my phone here because I needed to use the calculator so now I have a sleeve pattern I use leftover fabric and I made a sleeve pattern for uh, regular sleeves not off the shoulder or cold shoulder shoulder type sleeves all right and so this is what I use now as my pattern I don't have to go make that paper again so I have sleeves cut out for this dress that I'm making see I just set the pattern you have to fold the fabric so the fold is this way set the pattern and cut around it and you're good you have your sleeve all right so the sleeve is ready now for the bodice I just did what I showed you I set it on the cloth I folded the cloth I cut around and I got one piece and then I used the second piece to cut out the next piece and I'm still having trouble with the neck as you guys can see here hopefully I'll figure it out now let me show you my patterns that I made here for the half circle this is for the half circle skirt and what I did was I took my waist and I got 37 for my waist and I put the 37 in the calculator and I divided it by 3.14 which is pi and I got 11.7 so I put 11.7 inches on the tape measure like this right here I've tried it on and I think it fits right in the body part so um, this dress is going to have like a cage here so I think that the, um, the neckline is fine. So now Joe's gonna sew up the sleeves right here. He's gonna leave this part open, leave the fold alone, and he's gonna sew on these parts right here. And then I'm gonna show you how we attach the sleeves. So you want me to sew here, and here, and here? You wanna stick a pin right into the peak of the sleeve. So just measure it out, and just stick a pin in here with the sleeve on the correct side and the bodice on the wrong side what we're going to do is try to line up the top part of the sleeve to the bodice so open it up right sides to right sides then shove the sleeve inside the armhole And get the bottom here. Open the seams, all right? Pin it here. And then if Joe needs me to, I'm going to base stitch by hand all the way around. So he won't have any trouble to sew this because the fabric is stretchy. So it, it keeps slipping and moving. So that's what I might end up doing. Just let me pin it first that you guys know what base stitching is by hand so you just go in out in out like an accordion or a fan and pull normally it's with one thread but I'm doing it with double thread because it's just easier for me so Joe is sewing up the two sides of the skirt are you ready mm-hmm so Joe sewed the band right on the edge it's easier to put a safety pin on one end, Joe, and just kind of thread it through. My band is longer than my waist, but it's okay because I'd rather it be longer than too short. I've attached the band that Joe sewed and turned over for me. See the seam side here? I've attached it to the raw side of the skirt, and I just kind of went around and around and base stitched it because we are new to sewing, so this just helps a whole lot better. So I tried on the dress again because now I want to attach the top to the bottom and I want to make sure that the top part's not cut too long because the worst thing that happen is if you your waistline doesn't fit at your natural waistline, right? So my arms are kind of loose, but it's okay. Um, we're going to attach the top to the bottom, but first I'm going to put this, this X thing that I keep talking about, but I just wanted to see how it's coming. <sighs> no, I've, I didn't double fold this. I just did one fold and I base stitched through the neck all the, all the way around 
and I've put the um the X, the two strips, and you gotta put it to where this seam is on the bottom. So I'll straighten it out. But you wanna sew everything together and it, we're having a hard time sewing it on the sewing machine, so I've opted to just do it by hand. Joe and I got up this morning and decided that we were gonna sew. Why did we decide this, Joe? When I have so many things to do, why did we decide we're gonna sew? It was you. you know, Don't decide. blame me. I already have the dress cut I fine think. yesterday or Saturday, you know, you know. and I didn't say what day we're gonna sew. Are you Joe Papahala? What would it sew now? And that's what he'll do. I'll have things cut and he'll go, what are we sewing now? I and I didn't even I have that on the agenda. I, I have to edit a video. I don't tell you to sew. I just asked him what you're sewing. Well, I, you can't sew without me. I'm Let me tell you why. I want to go Let me anything. tell you why. Joe and I watch none of the YouTube videos to see what the people are teaching. I'm the one that watch the videos. I'm the one that jump up and cut according to what they say. And I'm the one that knows how they assemble it. Like for instance, if you're putting in a sleeve to a bodice, what they do is turn the bodice wrong side out, the sleeve right side out, and then you start attaching the top, you know, pretty side to pretty side. And then you go, you shove the sleeve inside of a hole, the armhole, a hole. And then you get the bottom, what do you call this here? The seam, right? The bottom seam? And then you kind of sew around. So it's like some tricky little moves that you gotta do that Joel has no clue because he doesn't watch any of the videos. So how is he just gonna jump up and say, okay, I'm gonna sew today, and then I go off into my corner to do what I need to do, which is edit a video for tomorrow for Facebook. Right. So I don't have to watch. Let me tell you what's frustrating about what we we're sewing though. God, it sucked. I don't know if we're ever gonna sew this again. It was like, what do you call this material? Like knit? It's like a stretchy material. I don't know what it's called officially. I wish mommy were here to tell me that's polyester. That's spandex mixed with rayon. That's garbadine. That's cotton. That's yeah. I wish mommy was here to tell me what all this stuff is because I don't know. And one of the things that we don't know is what is a ballpoint needle? Because the young lady that's teaching us how to sew through YouTube, she's like, for stretch material, you're going to need a ballpoint needle. So I'm going to have to go back and ask her what in the heck does that look like? Because we don't know if we own one of those. So every time Joe sews the darn thing the thread kind of like what is it doing like pulling together and knotting up and finally he said he needed a different type of a thread and so it's going a little bit better right now but because it's so slippery Joe can't hold it on to the machine I see these people on YouTube when they're sewing they look at peace they're like and then you put this hair it's usually the British people and then you do this and they hold the thing and they sew so pretty and they look so elegant like Every time Joe saw it, all you hear is a, ah, Batman, oh my God, why, F this, blah, blah, that's all you hear from the machine. Now you see why Barbara don't want to learn the machine? Because it seems that the machine is evil. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the dress is almost done. We have the bodice done, we have the sleeves attached. The sleeves are still a little bit too loose, but I don't know what to do with that because um, I don't want it to be too tight either. So we're going to live with it like that. Um, the skirt part, Joe, we we have to confess, the skirt part came out good. The skirt part of the dress came out awesome. It's, it's a half circle skirt, stretch material with a band. It came out so lovely, okay? So I'm so proud of that part. The, the bodice part didn't come out too bad either, except for the sleeve seems a little bit too big. And I'm sure we could take that in, but I don't know that I really want to take it in right now because I can't stand tight sleeves. But anyways, the front part, what we're doing is putting like an X like this to make a little design. And so that's what's left to attach. Then we're gonna bend down the neck and sew all around the neck. Then we have to do the sleeves. I think I might cut the sleeves a little bit shorter, like for three quarters. Um, hem the sleeves and then hem the tail and then the dress is done. Joe thinks the waist of the dress might be a little bit too loose. But we'll know that once we put the bodice into the skirt, then we'll see what you know what's going on there. And if it's too loose, we'll take it in then because we want a well-fitted dress. So, but we've been doing it all day. I'm sweating. I'm constantly half naked. If I'm not without my, my bottom, I'm without my top because I'm trying on the skirt or I'm trying on the top. Thank God none of the kids are home and nobody's coming to the door. But right now we're gonna go grab some lunch because Joe started to rail up because he made some thighs, some uh, legs and thighs yesterday. You know how you get the whole quarter attached with the back? He broiled it the way he does that nice broiling. 
four yeah. pieces, right? Yeah. That's and it's enough. big. They're big pieces. So I got a piece of the thigh. Joe got. What you get yesterday? A thigh. A thigh. Yeah. I cut, I cut them in half. Yeah. He got the thigh. I got the thigh. And so there was like two legs, and two, the big pieces. The leg, the thigh, and the back leftovers. And them kids came in there and they moved through the kitchen like some marabunta ants. Mommy used to talk to us about these marabunta ants that just go through every food that you have and when they're done, it's all gone. That's how those kids moved through that kitchen yesterday. And I suppose that's a compliment to show that, oh my God, we love this chicken. But they didn't leave us any. And Joe went to bed before I did. So I went and I soaked the tray and, and Joe's like, I kept telling him today, I said, we have nothing planned, no lunch. We're sewing, nobody has stopped to cook. What are we gonna eat? And Joe goes, I think he wasn't processing, you know, he's over there. Sewing, he's having his headache his sinus issues and so finally he got up for lunch and he started to go up you could <laughs> Joe was just like oh my god they ate all this food oh my god why <laughs> you you would have thought he was starving the way he went off and I said I've been telling you we don't have no food and so I mean we have food to cook but who has time to cook so I told him let's run to the post office today I'm mailing Tracy's package and two things to IRS because I need uh, to show that Jada and Joshua ha hasn't filed any taxes to get that discount for the light bill. So me, Joe, and Jory already got our transcripts, but we need that for them. So I got to go drop that off. And then after that, only two people left to take care of. It's going to be Nisa and um, Sess. Got to take care of them last. All right. It has broccoli, rice, fried chicken. I don't know what the little fried things are. I'm gonna pop the And he's got a salmon. We have not been to Home Tongue Buffet in about three years. If the food go on, leave it. <laughs> we are lightweights, guys. Me and Joe are lightweights. <clears throat> Joe couldn't eat more than half of what he picked up. I ate much of my meatloaf and. Um, a small chicken thigh that thigh was so small I wondered if it was a thigh and what else two other fries literally like two fries the f oh where are you guys I had to hand sew this because Joe can't sew this on the machine <laughs> look at a crooked stitch Get out of the